Hey, welcome back. I know my camera is blurry around the edges. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm rebuilding my TTO one and just wanted to uh, make a well do a video to show some speed enhancements to help the handling. So first, I guess you already know my short shot modification. I use an X-ray T4 ULP short shock and originally the shock is mounted high up here and now it's now mounted here direct to the bulkhead with a set screw. That's it. Uh, so that worked well. Uh, that helped this TTO1 win uh, our modified class race whereas before it could not. Now I'm trying to do some more enhancements. Now second is to reduce the unsprung weight. And that is the weight of the hub, bearings, this one, this part. So the thing that moves up and down, uh, you want to reduce that. And the thing that makes one, uh, it heavy is these screws that you put here and here. This is around, I think, four or five grams of weight. That's a lot, and what I do is I use, I replace it with 3mm carbon fiber rods, and this weighs less than one gram. I don't know how it, how much, but almost nothing. So I can save five grams of up and down weight here, and that should give me more rear traction, um, just better handling. And. And then on this side, one thing you also want to do is make sure the rear suspension has minimal slop, but it's precise but free. So here in the hub, uh, I use shims to make sure that yeah, this, there's no back and forth, but at the same time, it's still free. So you, I put some maybe 0.3 mm shims in here. Depends. So you have to build it, test it. And it's time consuming but it is what it is so no slot no back and forth slot uh, so this is the old um, and then you have to make sure that it's free up and down uh, make sure yeah with minimal slot as well it's still free more important it's free no binding and that's it that's it for today uh, I have other stuff here like more diffs playing around with the diffs so the rear diff I put in something that's I smeared the gears with uh, 1 million mm shock uh, diff oil just to give it a little diff action so yeah not open not as free but there's some diff action and once it warms up it actually becomes softer and softer and softer but yeah haven't tested it yet we'll test it now i've also tested um the one with the two degree toe in with the one degree with the stock zero the stock zero in our short track is faster, but this is more stable and consistent if you have two degree toe in. Uh, I put the stock zero back because you know I want to improve the driving skill, so make the car more difficult to drive. But it is faster, less resistance, more turn in, but it does challenge your driving a little more. But if you want to become a better driver yeah so no toe in for this car it's also short wheel base uh, the short one so it's more agile yeah so that's it mount the fan low not on top of the motor low as in low keep everything low uh, it helps really the handling of, of the car I think that's enough for today. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a vlogger. I'm just a hobbyist. But uh, 
Yeah, some requests for to post some more videos. So here's one. <laughs> uh, I don't do this for views, but to more or less help those who want to know more and learn about. You know, like even with a TTO one with some basic modification. I try to keep it stock, really. I don't want to upgrade the camber links. I don't want to upgrade the dog bones. I don't want to upgrade a lot of things because then it becomes expensive and might as well get a real racing machine. But the thing I, I, I had time to do was this one, this shock. Uh, I had the shock lying around. So this is a cheap mod for me because I just drilled I just drilled the set screw here at an angle and that's it and then mount the shop so nothing really costly to do but the benefit is very big very very big <laughs> all right same with the front it's it's actually lower than some of my racing touring cars it's as low as you can get see Uh, I'm enjoying this car. It's good practice and it's actually fast in our track as fast as our TAO5 and race of T3M. It's nice. Yeah. Alright. I mean, for those who love the Tamiya TTO1, just built it nicely, properly. Um, it can go fast. Set it up correctly with the correct spring, ride height. You know. Uh, it's si actually simple to set up because you can only play with the ride height. I don't play with the camber since I cannot adjust it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, a little easier for beginners or newbies to play around with and not get lost in the setup. Mainly the ride height, front to rear makes a lot of difference in the handling. Same with the springs. I cannot even change the shock angle, so I just change springs. So one less uh, thing to worry about. Uh, this car is really just the ride height. The hex, sometimes I can make it narrower or wider as another way to adjust the car balance front to rear. No anti-roll bar, so one less thing to worry about. Uh, so the things is really ride height, the springs, and the hex width, the toe in or toe or no toe, and the diff, how how stiff or open the diff is. Uh, the front is a, also a relatively open diff. It's not uh, spool because our track is small, so I need a lot of steering. It's more nimble this way. It's very soft. Uh, this one is actually harder for, at the moment. So. It's for testing. I haven't tested it yet. All right. Cheers.